we'll say the big five. We're just this this is the start of it. Um Homies. No, 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 no. This one needs to be named Goonies. <laughs> Gangies. Oh, I know. Um Homies. Friends. Acquaintances. <laughs> okay, okay, let us cook, let us cook. Let's, let's get, oh wait, 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 there's one more I need to add. My cat. <laughs> let's get that one out of the way. Okay, okay, so my cat, alright, um, my best friend, N nothing comes close at all. Nothing, nothing. Um, the, this part becomes this. This is this one's easy. Vivian, easy big five, easy big five. Be one of my best friends, easily, easily, easily. Very supportive human being. Very supportive. Uh, up, up next, eas easily Enzo. As much as we argue, yes sir, definitely there, definitely there, definitely there. Very good friend. Can be moody, or he can be the biggest homie ever. Um. Yeah, wait, I need to put up more of an argument. <laughs> I'm so dumb. But anyways, um, Vivian's just a goat, man. Just a goat. Absolutely goated. Been there for me in some rough-ass times, not gonna lie. Uh, Jamie is, is like, the gremlin energy side of me. I won't lie. I won't lie. For, for sure, for sure. Jamie definitely up there. Where the fuck is Ben? Where is his bitch ass? <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Uh, up next is Ben. These these are not ordered, by the way. I might do some ordering, like, at the end. But anyways, up next is Ben. Truly, truly a pal. Truly a pal. Probably the closest to my cat. Like, when it comes to, like, closest friend or whatever. Um, absolute G. Without question. Without question. Um, up next is Gray. He's, he's the dude that's in that photo. He's, he's a pretty cool dude, man. I, I do I do some stupid stuff with him. Some stupid stuff. <laughs> like the one time I stabbed his hand. <laughs> Alright, up next is Goonies. Um, Isaac immediately comes to mind. Isaac be doing some some stuff, bro. He be doing some stuff. So like I we do some stuff, okay? He's he's a pretty cool dude. I I think so at least. Definitely up there. Definitely up there. Um I don't know. Who would I put next? Who would I put next? Honestly? Mm, yeah, I'd say Maxwell. This Maxwell. The thing of them is both Maxwells, because I speak to them both on individual levels. As you can see, um, you can tell there's a pattern here. There's a very big pattern. The pattern is like, oh look, there's another Goonie. <laughs> um, both Maxwells are just really good friends of mine, I think. Because, like... On one end, you could sit there and, like, say, oh, sometimes you say some stupid shit, Joey, and it might anger them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, it depends. It depends. Um, Will is just a homie man. I don't know what the hell I was doing ignoring him during, like, fifth period last year. My B. <laughs> Speaking of fifth period. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, but, yeah. Um... Bro, I don't know what it is with Megan, but she just matches my energy too well sometimes. It actually kind of scares me. It, it actually kind of scares me, like, how similar she is to me at times. Sometimes it's, like, either completely polar opposites or just, like, the exact same, and it's kind of scary. I don't think there's something where it's, like... Oh, there's this, there's just like somewhere in the middle of that. There's like nothing, nothing at all. It's, it's really scary. <laughs> it actually scares me. Um, I think that goes down to gangies. Also, sometimes there are, no, wait, I almost fucking forgot JJ. Oh my God, I'm a fucking dumbass. <laughs> um, 
JJ is a pal, man. An absolute pal. Kind of gets bonus points for being this person's uh, girlfriend. Not gonna lie, would not know them otherwise. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd put, I'd put, I'd put her up there. Uh, next week we move on to gangies, man. This is where like, I, they're, they're, I don't speak with them on a consistent enough basis, but I still speak with them fairly consistently. They're pretty good people. Love them to death. Um. Mikey, definitely there, bro. Definitely there. Um, we literally have, like, a ritual before every basketball and football game where I will straight up, like, walk up to him and tell him to kick their ass. I swear to God, we could be losing, like, down, like, 15. And I can just go up to him and tell him that. And for whatever reason, it's like it kicks off something in his mind. It's It's strange. It'll like kick something off in his mind that just says, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to become the best player ever. And then he does. And it's scary. It's like actually scary. Um, up next, up next, we have uh, Kyrie, another goat, another goat of mine. Absolute G, won't lie, won't lie. Um... Uh, up next, uh, well, probably Cameron. Probably Cameron. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Abs absolute homie. Won't lie. There are times where I'm like, I just want to be like, please be quiet about the drama. I do not need to hear the tea. It's it's like, but like at the same time, it's just funny. It's just funny. Very, very nice person, in, in my opinion, in my opinion. Uh, but, but sometimes... Sometimes gets a bit obsessed over some drama. Just every now and then. Every now and then. That's, that's my only little gripe. But it's not a big gripe. It's like a slight little... It's like a slight tiniest annoyance. Like the tiniest one. Not one where you'd get mad at it. Or be like fully annoyed with it. Just like on occasion when you're having a really bad day. It's like not something you want to hear. You know what I mean? I don't know. Next up is Charlie. Another gangy of mine, absolute friend, absolute pal even, chum possibly. Um, I've known this motherfucker since like fifth grade, but I did not befriend him because honestly I was an emo, edgy brat, I won't lie. Uh, still kind of am. <laughs> but oh well, oh well, oh well. Um, down in homies, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who would I put in homies first? Uh, hmm. I think I'd put, I think I'd put Griffin here. Cause like, well, Griffin and his sister, where's his sister, where's his sister? They're both, they're, I, I speak with them at around the same amount, just not at the same amount as like in the gangy area, I think. Um, I also don't like DM them at all. I don't really speak to them that much anymore. Like, I don't know. It's like. They have like good vibes sometimes, but it's a hit or miss. It's kind of like what you what you just put there. What you'd put there is like a friend or whatever. But like friends are like, I don't know. I don't know how to fucking put it. Tech by technicality, everyone's an acquaintance of mine. So, yeah, friends is like the area of more of like actual acquaintances. I guess you could say. I don't know how to put it. <laughs> um Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, this is where I'd put Miles as well. I don't speak to him all that much. Uh, but for the most part, we are, we're on good terms, I think. I think. Keyword, I think. Sometimes it's, like, interesting, and sometimes it's, like, nothing happens. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, up next is uh, Carson. Carson's a pal of mine. I, don't, I haven't known him that long, and I don't speak to him nearly as much, but, like... You could make you could make a solid case for him in gangy. You easily could. You could make a solid case for him in gangies. Uh, other than that, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess he's just in like homies, just because of how little I speak to him. But he's like one of those friends where you don't speak to him that much, but you know everything that goes on. <laughs> uh, shit, shit. Who would I put next? Who would I put next? Honestly. I guess this is where I'd put Freddy as well. 
Because Freddy's Freddy is I've I've known for an extremely long period of time. Same with Alex. But Alex, I don't speak with him as much, so I think I can put Alex in friends. Um Sebastian is definitely in homie category. Kind of like my six-hour buddy at this point. <laughs> I won't lie. I won't lie. Oh, shit. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Um, I'd also put Delaney in Friends. Because, like... I don't know. I don't think we've had any actual, like, meaningful conversations. She's just, like, someone I speak to. Like frequently but like not in a bad way there's like no bad things and neither of us hate each other neither of us like exactly i don't know we're not meaty like in the middle ground either we're just kind of friends yeah, i don't know how to explain that i'm bad at explaining this shit um that's basically where these people fall under too just people i speak to like every now and then oh wait you need to be in in homies because yeah, Kylie, I fucking almost forgot. Those two are literally, like, always together. I won't lie. <laughs> and then acquaintances. I'm sorry, Helen. I'm sorry, but I literally have barely spoken to you. The only time I've ever talked to you is about cats. <laughs> anyways, anyways, let's let's order them. Let's order them. Oh, shit, I almost fucking moved him. Um, this is hard. I'm, I'm going to say Ben first. Because Ben, like, Ben is like Vivian, but like a, a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like, just a little bit more. A little bit more. And then, yeah, I'd say Vivian afterwards. Then I'd say Jamie. Because cause me and Jamie are like gremlins. We just do stupid shit to each other. It's kind of like that sibling shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> And Enzo, Enzo's dropped quite a bit since, like, the la last time. Last time I made one of these. I won't lie. I will not lie. Enzo's dropped quite a bit. Bro was, like, up there, like, up here and then dropped down. Um, Goonies. Where would I put stuff? Yeah, I'd say it's about accurate, almost. Almost, almost. I'd say Megan's more towards the bottom of Goonies. Because it's, like... I don't think I have any bad interactions with her ever, but, like, the others are, like, I speak to them so much more, and I do so much more with them as a whole, whereas Megan is, like, oh, I'm gonna spend, like, two hours, like, during second hour and, like, fucking whatever, and hang out with you and Griff and them, but, like, I don't know, like, I feel like I annoy, like, Griff more, which is why he's the worst. but, yeah. I also don't, I also speak to her more than, like, every other one of these people in DMs, like, the, in, in the gangies area and all that, uh, etc. It's usually about the downfall of Andrew Tate, but, and cats, a lot of cats, I won't lie, I'd be sending mad cat reels, but JJ I speak to frequently in a group chat, and same with these people, and then I speak with this fucker right here, like, every day. A lot, like a lot. I speak with him a lot. <laughs> it's it's kind of insane. It's kind of insane. Oh yeah, I forgot to make Gray's case for being a Bovenzo. Um, bro, we be playing way too many games. Like I will literally be at his house for like several days straight. <laughs> I will like camp over there after bringing my own food, just to not be a burden on their family. And just fucking beat his ass in video games. And bro just takes it. Bro has willpower, bro. <laughs> okay, we have to move on to gangies. Honestly? I'd say... I'd say this is about... No. Charlie's below Cam. Because I only speak with, like, Charlie every once in a while. But he's, like... He's, like, the evolved version of Carson. <laughs> If you know what I mean? While Mikey, I'm, like, going to, like, his games and shit 24-7, bro. Um. Alright, let's move on. Let's move on. I think that's a fair ranking in gangies. No, I think I could put Cam above Kyrie. Let's speak to Cam a lot. Um. 
the homies area. Okay, top is... No. Wait, did, what did I do? What did I do? I don't know, but I don't care. <laughs> um, Carson's definitely at the top. Then I'd say Miles. Hmm. Then Sebastian. Then, yeah. Then, then the rankings like this. I don't think that's a fair ranking. There's not much to justify. I can basically move them around except for like the top three there. Because I speak with them like f very consistently outside of Carson, but Carson like Bro can just be a ghost sometimes, just gone. <laughs> you can't find him sometimes, like, at all. Like, and it's not even him avoiding me. Like, I swear to God, sometimes he just disappears, like, into some area. And he'll be out in the open, but you just don't see him. It might be because he's short. I'm just poking fun, but fuck it. Um, here I'd say Delaney's at the top for this tier and yeah then that then this then just this but i speak with that yeah i think that's a fair ranking i think that's a fair ranking and my cat is my cat man that cat has been there for me since like my birth basically and by my birth i mean like almost as far back as i can remember since i was like six bro is old <laughs> bro is old <laughs> he is an old kitty and I love him with my whole soul. If anything were to happen to my cat, I'd, I'd harm so many things if, if they tampered with it. The same applies with, like, every, like the, the, the Goonies, man. The Goonies. And above. Like, if someone were to harm them, I'm, I'm coming after their soul. They're not alive anymore. They're gone. They're just gone. Anyways, that's really about it. Um... I don't fucking know. <laughs> Have a good day. Uh, love y'all.